I am Dr. Usha Kumari, Assistant Professor, Department of English, CHL Government College, Chara. Today we are going to do the essay, Playing the English Gentleman. It was written by Mahatma Gandhi, Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi. Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi was born in 1869 and was died in 1948. His popular, popular name is Gandhi Ji. Bapu, Mahatma and Mahatma Gandhi. He was a great leader of the freedom struggle of India. He was trained in law at the Inner Temple, London. He first employed non-violent civil obedience as a lawyer in South Africa. After his return to India in 1915, he set about organizing peasants, farmers and urban liberals to protest against excessive land tax and discrimination. Assuming the leadership of the Indian National Congress in 1921, Gandhiji led a nationwide campaign for easing poverty, expanding women's rights, building religious and ethnic amity, ending untouchability, but above all for achieving Savaraj or self-rule. This essay has been taken from Mahatma Gandhi's autobiography. This essay playing the English gentleman taken from his autobiography. The story of my experiments. With the truth. In this essay, Gandhiji describes his experience of, of his experience describes his experience of his stay in London and he's playing the role of the English gentleman. He was influenced by a handful of books and repeatedly meditated upon them. He dedicated his life of the wider purpose of discovering truth. He tried to achieve this by learning from his mistakes and conducting experiment on himself. Gandhiji's faith, faith in vegetarianism, vegetarianism grew on. Gandhiji's faith in vegetarianism grew on from day to day. His interest in vegetarianism was initiated by his reading of Salt's book. Then he tried to read all books available on vegetarianism. One of these books was Howard Williams. Howard, one of these books was Howard Williams. The Ethics of Diet, which dealt with the history of literature of human dietetics from Pythagoras and Jesus down to the present age. Dr. Allison's writing on health and hygiene were also proved helpful as a result of the reading books on vegetarianism and making experiment on his diet came to make an important place in Gandhiji's life. But later on, religion became the supreme motive. His friend worried. His friend worried at Gandhiji's objection of to eating, eat, mating meat eating. His friend worried at Gandhiji's objection to meat eating. Gandhiji's friend got worried at his objection to meat eating. He pleaded that it would develop a weak constitution. Constitution or weak body and he would remain a duffer because he would never feel at home in English society. Therefore, he advised Gandhiji to reform himself. One day, he invited Gandhiji 
to go to the theater and dine with him at the Holborn restaurant. He planned to take Gandhi to his restaurant in a very big company of diners. First of all, soup was served. In the first course, there was soup. Gandhi ji summoned the waiter and asked him if the soup was a vegetable soup. If it is made of vegetables. At this, Gandhi ji friend got annoyed. He asked Gandhi ji to behave himself like a gentleman. He asked Gandhi ji to go and feed in some other restaurant where vegetarian food was served. This delighted Gandhi ji and he went out of the restaurant. So he went without food that night. Then he accompanied his friends to the theater, but he never said a word about the scene that Gandhi ji had created. Gandhi ji decided to put his friend at ease. Gandhi ji, Gandhi decided to put his friend at ease at comfort john the tussle between gandhi and his friend was the last tussle it did not affect their relationship rather he appreciated the love of his friend for him his respect for his friend was all the greater but gandhi ji decided to put his friend at ease he should assure him that his veg vegetarianism was fitted one for polite society and for this purpose he undertook all impossible tasks of becoming an english gentleman gandhi's clothes clothes gandhi's clothes unsuitable for english society gandhi as he used to wear traditional indian clothes uh, that's of Gujarati clothes. He thought that these clothes were unsuitable for English society. Therefore, he got new, got new clothes. He, uh, from the army, army and navy. Navy's stores. He also bought a chimney pot costing 19 shillings. Chimney pot cost of 19 shillings. Sorry, S S H I the value languages. 19 shillings. He also wasted. 10 pounds on evening suit evening suit 10 pounds made in board street that's very famous or fashionable street in london he asked his brother to send him double watch double watch from his brother that has chain of gold he directed his attention to make himself like an english gentleman he took lessons in dancing in dancing french elocution And French elocution, French and elocution. Gandhiji used to wear, uh, sorry, in order to present himself like an English gentleman, Gandhiji was told to take lessons in dancing, dancing, French and elocution. He decided to take dancing lessons at a class and paid, for dancing he paid pound three as fees for a term. He took about six lessons, six lessons of dancing in three weeks, in three weeks. But he couldn't follow the piano. 
student following the piano and hence found it impossible to keep time he thought that he should learn to play the violin trying to play violin in order to cultivate an ear for western music so he invested pound 3 on violin pound 3 on violin and something more in fees he also sought a third teacher to give him lesson on elocution teacher he also hired a teacher to teach elocution the teacher recommended bell standard elocutionist as the textbook which he purchased gandhi ji thought changed altogether changed altogether there came a big change in gandhi ji's thoughts he said to himself that he had not to spend a lifetime in england therefore there was no use of learning elocution no use of learning elocution there was no use of dancing to make a gentleman of him he don't also don't need dancing he should qualify uh, the violin could be learned in india and it is it can be learned in india he felt that he was student and he ought to go on with his studies he should qualify himself to join the inns of court if his character made him a gentleman character it's very important for gandhi ji so much the better otherwise he should forego his ambitions of becoming a gentleman such thoughts possessed him and he expressed them in a letter addressed to the elocution teacher he requested him to excuse him from further lessons gandhi ji also wrote a similar letter to the dancing teacher and violin teacher gandhi ji requested the violin teacher to dispose of the violin for any price it might fetch she was rather friendly to gandhi ji and because and she told her that he was pursuing a false idea the teacher encouraged gandhi ji in his determination to make a complete change in this way in this way gandhi ji's infatuation with the idea of being an english gentleman lasted about 3 months this idea lasted about 3 months and he became a serious student so we see that in the end gandhi ji realized that he had not to spend his whole life in england so it's no use of learning dancing elocution so for as learning to play violin was concerned it could be learned in india and had to come to england as a student to study law and he ought to go with his studies and he should qualify himself to join the inns of court in the same time he also realized that if his character made him a gentleman he should give up his ambition to be an english gentleman and become a student so this was all about the playing the english gentleman i hope you will understand it better thank you students have a nice day it's time for bye now thank you